In this tutorial, we're going to look at the basics of percentages. And the first thing we should remember, and always remember this, is that percent literally means divided by 100. And that will get you out of a lot of trouble. One thing we're going to need to know about is the decimal equivalent of a percentage. It's a very useful thing, and that is the percentage divided by 100. And fairly clearly, if you want to find the percentage from the decimal equivalent, you do the decimal equivalent times 100. Okay, so you should be able to convert freely between percentages and decimal equivalents. They are, in fact, the same thing. Now, you'll often be asked to find, we will need to find, a percentage of something. And the easiest way to do that is to multiply by the decimal equivalent. And if you're ever asked to find A as a percentage of B, or you think you need to do that, I would just do A over B, which will give you the decimal equivalent, and then you can turn that into a percentage or a percentage increase or whatever that you need uh, from the question. Anything else, percentage increases, decreases, reverse percentages, all those sorts of things, there are other tutorials on those. So let's just have a look at some hopefully very straightforward questions. Question one then, as a part of a business arrangement, Lionel pays 15% of everything he earns to Kevin. For a particular job, Lionel earns 1,200 or 1,200 pounds. How much does he pay to Kevin? Well, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find 15% of 1,200 pounds. And we're gonna use the decimal equivalent decimal equivalent of 15% is 15 over 100, in other words, 0.15, of always means times, and the 1200. So 0.15 times 1200, stick it in the calculator, or do it another way, and you get 180 pounds. And notice I have used the decimal equivalent. For question two, we've got Martha, and she's got a similar business arrangement with Kevin, but she pays a different percentage. For a particular job, Martha earns £2,400 and pays Kevin £432. What percentage of her earnings does Martha pay to Kevin? Well, this is where we want to express 432 as a percentage of 2400 So, how do we do that? Well, we just look over on the left there at number four to find a as a percentage of b we simply do a over b so in this case 432 over 2400 and 432 over 2400 if i put it in my calculator is 0 0.18 now that is a decimal equivalent how do i find the actual percentage i simply multiply by 100 and that is 18 percent and as I say, 0.18 and 18% are exactly the same thing. And we'll just look at one more. One year, Kevin makes £75,000 from these business arrangements, and the next year, he makes £79,500. By what percentage has his profit increased? Well, there are lots of ways of doing this one, but I'm going to suggest this way. We're simply going to do it uh, by expressing 79,500 as a percentage of, so this is very like the previous question, but there's a bit of interpretation later, percentage of 75,000. Yes, you could find the actual increase and work with that, but this is just as good and very simple. So I do 79,500 divided by 75,000, as it tells me to on the left there in number four, and when I do that, I get 1.06. Now remember that that's a decimal equivalent, so that is 106%. And so what increases that? Well, we always start with 100%, and so that is a 6% increase. And we've done that basically with one calculation rather than uh, any other methods you may have done. So I hope that sorts out the simple bits of percentages for you. As I say, there are other tutorials to deal with the more complicated bits.